Hey everybody, Pastor Billy here, pastor of Bethel Church. Uh, if you go to Bethel here, you know that this is our week of fasting and prayer. Um, we are fasting. Uh, it's kind of a spontaneous week of fasting. Uh, just felt a little over a week ago, like, you know what? Uh, we need to fast and pray. I heard some people who had some prayer requests um, and then uh, things going on in our nation. And then even some of the things that we're, we're doing here at Bethel just felt like, you know what? Let's We need to enter into a time of fasting in prayer, it would be good to do that. After all, Jesus does expect that his followers will fast and pray that we should practice that. Um, it, um, yeah, yeah, it is a spiritual discipline. I'm not going to do a deep dive, you know, for the, especially for those of you at Bethel. I'm not deep diving into what fasting is. Let me let me just explain it this way, really simply, just to kind of help you get your head around it a little bit. You know, fasting. Think of it like a doctor. A doctor will tell you to to fast when they want to get a good, clean, clear read, unconvoluted uh, read on your vitals, on your blood. So, so they get a baseline. It's clear. It's with it. You know, all you go on that fast, and it gets all the numbers to where it needs to be. I, I don't understand it all exactly. I have a general understanding, but I'm not a doctor. But that's kind of what fasting is on a spiritual level. Spiritually, the discipline of sp- the spiritual discipline of fasting helps you and I eliminate out of our routine things that usually take up time, energy, focus, and, and whatever for the purpose of getting tuned in with God, seeking the Lord, fasting, and praying. So that's kind of how you could understand fasting. Just as fasting in the natural gives a clear read to your vitals, your blood, uh, well, fasting in the spiritual uh, level helps you get a clear read in, on God in, in, in terms of tuned in and prayer focused. And so that's why we're fasting or, or, or what, what fasting can do uh, and how fasting works. But uh, fasting for fasting and prayer to be to be impactful, it's important that we have a focus. So I'm going to give us three major, about three major focuses to our fast in our prayer time, uh, especially for those of you who may struggle when you're fasting and praying and you're not really sure wh- what to pray about and, and everything. Let me, let me help you. Uh, our focus in fast, uh, for fasting, one of the three for, the, for this week is, is for fasting for divine health. We are fasting and praying for divine health. We're believing God for divine health. Uh, let me read to you a couple of passages of scripture. Third uh, John verse two says this, beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health just as your soul prospers and be in health just as your soul prospers. That verse and that hope of that writer in the Bible is referring to physical health of the body. He said, as your soul prospers, okay, the soul, the inner man, the inner person that God has redeemed. Um, you've, you and I have been made alive spiritually. You know, your, your soul, your mind, your will, your emotions, your inner person is healthy now, is, is prospering, can prosper. Oftentimes we can be prospering inwardly beyond how we're doing outwardly, okay? But there's definitely room for and reason to desire, hope for, and believe for, and you could even say expect for uh, prospering of good health. Uh, So we are fasting for, how I like to say it, divine health, that God's blessing and favor would be on our health not, not just our inner person, our spirit, soul and bo- our spirit and soul, but in our body, that we would be well in our bodies. Um, and, and 3 John 2 definitely gives reason to hope for that and believe for that. Psalm 103. I read this on Sunday in our service. Uh, Psalm 103, 1 to 5 says this, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. We already know from 3 John 2 that the soul is already prospering. So we're blessing God with that place that he's caused to prosper already. But here's what he says. And forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases, 
Okay, there's that health who redeems your life from destruction, who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfies your mouth with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. Now that youth is talking about energy. That's talking about your energy. That's talking about your, yes, your soul, but yeah, it's also talking about our body. And I, I am by no means saying that if you're not well or you're not dealing, doing so well that you're not spiritually uh, sound or anything like that. I, I'm actually, I'm, I'm saying we're fasting and praying for divine health for the very reality that many people and many times we do have health challenges. There's battles. You, you know, you can get sick, you get COVID, you get pneumonia, you get something, or you just don't feel right in your body, or you got ailments of some kind. All the more reason we have the privilege and the benefits to believe God and actually have confidence to approach God in our time of fasting and prayer for specifically divine health, praying for divine health. I believe that we, this is something we need to fast and pray for because I've had reports um, sent to me that of others who have said, hey, you know, please be praying. I've got a family member who's got a diagnosis of cancer, another family member, uh, a diagnosis of a broken arm or bone or something, others who are still recovering from post-COVID effects like COVID pneumonia and other various things, uh, as well as there are those who are healthy. Maybe you're doing just fine. You're well, but you are mindful of, man, I just don't want to get sick right now. I can't afford a cold or who can afford a cold whenever. You know, we need to declare and pray for divine health, proclaiming divine health over, over our bodies, over our immune systems, over your family. And so when you fast, I'm, I'm sharing these scriptures with you to empower you that when you go to pray, you know, God, you, you have promised and you have offered a benefit as a child of God that I can ask you for divine health. So I pray and I proclaim and declare health over my body, my, my mind, my, my head, my everything from my head to the soles of my feet. I pray for health in my body. Some of you need to pray and Proclaim a, a, a healthy immune system, either for yourself or declaring that over somebody else. So when you fast this week and as you are fasting, pray and proclaim for good health over your body, over the church, over others, over other believers, over your family. Pray for God to heal broken bones. Pray for God to deliver and heal people of cancer. Pray for God to protect people from getting sick for stronger immune systems. You know, a little word of advice there too. In, in light of this divine health, you know, take vitamins. Do Make sure you do your best. I'm, I'm, I'm not harping on you if you're not. Listen, I, I'm, I'm not always, I get it. I know how to have uh, cookies and cake, okay? <laughs> but we also need to make sure we're paying attention to, you know, uh, we can't be licking handrails and proclaiming and expecting divine health when we're doing something stupid, okay? So to be sure to take vitamins. Be sure to take good care of yourself to the best of your ability. Um, what Maybe you know that there's something that you cannot eat and ingest and it just doesn't uh, bode well for you. You know, you have to limit certain things. Know your body and, and live within that discipline, just like the discipline of fasting, you know, maybe sugar and dairy. That's for me. I, I try to be careful with how much sugar and dairy. I just celebrated my daughter's birthday recently. So, you know, I know how to pound down some of my own sugar, right? But I can't live like that all the time and expect good results. So, you know, pray and declare divine health, but pay attention to how you're living, okay? Uh, so, as we pray and fast this week, know that I'm fasting and praying for you, for your family. Uh, whether I know them or not, for God to heal and bless and restore and, and, and touch their bodies. I'm, I'm certainly proclaiming that over you. If you go to Bethel, we pray this all the time. If you've ever been to an, a prayer meeting here, you know that I pray and we pray for divine health over the people of God. Uh, it is a benefit as Psalm 103 so clearly communicates. God bless you in your time of fasting and prayer. We'll see you later this week.